Hello everybody and welcome to another Unity tutorial. So today we're going to be making a basic object pickup system in terms of collecting items uh, and we might even add some little UI onto the screen if it doesn't take too long. Uh, like what I did before, uh, we're going to make a little platform here. I'm going to make this one slightly bigger because I'm actually going to use a first person controller I think for this one. Uh, so again we're going to call this uh, a new, so we're, this is going to be a name for our scene. This is going to be collection for me, I think. Collection scene, yeah, that'll do. Oh, we'll, we'll go in caps there with the word scene. Um, so we'll have this there. We'll just bring in the first person uh, control. Actually, no, we'll go for the rigid body. Uh, if I've got it imported, there we go. Uh, the rigid body FPS controller. If you haven't imported it, uh, it'll be in assets, the import package, and I think it is in characters there. Uh, and you should be able to type it in there, and it will come through. Like so. There we go. So we have our little first person control here. And we're going to make, uh, let's make some coins to pick up. So we make a cylinder. And we'll set its Y value, I think. We'll set this to 0 0.1. Uh, yeah, we will. And then we'll scale this down. I'm also going to change this from a capsule collider. Oh, uh, remove component. Uh, we're going to change this to a box collider. Just so it doesn't have extra sort of sphere shape to it. We'll rotate it uh, 90 degrees, not that way. Is it going to be on the Z? It is going to be on the Z. Um, we'll rotate that to there and then what we'll actually do is we will create a new material called coin, apply it to there, click down here and then you should get this little window. Drag the yellow value all the way up and we can even make this sort of somewhat shiny and metallic by sliding those values to sort of simple material manipulation I guess um, and we'll just scale this down and from this if we call it coin uh, we're just going to drag it into there uh, just so we have that so what we're going to do here uh, is we're going to just start off with making the simple collection uh, function uh, in a new script Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting a script onto the coin here um, which will basically detect if the player has wandered into it and then we'll get it to, um, we can make it add to a script where you, it can add the values I guess. So we'll start off by making the uh, little coin script for now, coin script, which we can actually drag on to whilst uh, Visual Studio loads. We can drag the coin script, uh, coin script onto the coin so that any version of the prefab will then have the coin script uh, attached. So here we go. We hopefully load that script in. If uh, Visual Studio is going to allow it. There we go. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to have void on trigger enter. Then we're going to do if other dot name that uh, equals player then we're going to destroy the game object so this is what we're going to start off with, we'll put here I'll just comment this in, we're going to add one, two points or something like that uh, so that's what's going to be there, this is natural code, this is commenting if you're not familiar with programming um, it's just a good way of putting in so I can just put here this this destroys I can't spell uh, destroys things. I don't know. There you go. That's a good example, I guess. Um, okay. So now on our coin script, we're going to just detect if we have a little collision. But just to enable this, we're going to set it to a trigger. As in our script, we're looking for a trigger object. Um, so if I now go to here and I walk in, it destroys. Uh, and I can do this for multiple coins. So if we drag some more in, we go da 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 da. That'll do. So we have multiple coins and we can just go through and collect them without falling off the world. There we are. That's a simple sort of coin pickup. But what we haven't got anywhere on our game is we don't know if we're actually collecting anything or not. So we're going to make. Oh, that shouldn't be happening. Uh, <laughs> we need to make a little script um, which I'm going to call player script, uh, which is going to be attached to our player. 
right here. And we're basically going to make it hold some points. Um, so public int points. I can spell. Uh, there we go. Um, it's current. We're going to by default set it to zero because we're going to have no points at the start. So all we're going to do there is it's going to update. Now I'm going to make a simple uh, on GUI function here, which we're just going to put um, the old version of the int UI on the screen. So we're going to make it just show some text uh, in the top left of the screen. Um, but you can use this. Um, you can make a, it use the new Unity UI system. Uh, but we're just going to make a simple version just to see what's going on for uh, developing purposes. So we're going to make a label, uh, a new rect. Uh, we're going to put it at the 10 pixels in, 10 pixels down. We're going to make it 100 pixels wide and 20 pixels tall. Uh, and then we are going to do rotations plus points. Because uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do score, and then we'll have uh, put this little space in. Otherwise, your numbers will be like right next to it, like that. So you want to have this little space. Um, so what this is going to do then is this is going to update every time. This is going to constantly keep showing all the points. So we'll have that on screen all the time um, on the player script. Now what we have to do now is go back into the coin script, and we need to change something. We need to now add one to points. So what we can do here is other dot get component, uh, and we're going to get the player script dot points plus plus, and that's all we're going to do. Uh, and that should be it. So now we go. Is it on our player? There we go. See points is set to zero. So we're going to hit play, and you'll see. If I maximize the game, it's gonna let me. There we go. Uh, if I maximize the game, you see that score zero up there. Now, if I do this, it's adding points. We have now have five points from the coins. I know it's a little bit hard to see. There you go. You can see we have five points. I'm just gonna make this a little bit more fun. Okay, let's make the coins rotate. Uh, it's not like I think it's done in Mario. So transform dot rotate. Uh, let's find out what axis. And if, I'm just going to set those to zero for now, so it's not going to rotate at all. Let's find out which axis we need to rotate on. So I select a coin. We need to see which axis. I think it rotates on Y. There we go. It rotates on the Y axis, I believe. We'll try that. We'll try it. It's going to rotate at 90 times time dot delta time. There we go. So this may rotate slow. I don't know. Let's have a little look. Is it going to be on the right axis? No, it's on the wrong one. Of course it would be different. This is Unity. Um, let's just check. Basically, this always seems to happen. It's like it's one axis in one thing, and then it's a different axis in another. It's slightly annoying, but, you know, trial and error always helps. So we'll try on the x-axis. There we go. It was the x-axis instead. Uh, so now you can see that we pick up these coins. I mean, you can also make an you can make an audio clip play or anything like that. You attach an audio source, um, so you can make little pickup sounds. But that is simple um, picking up with a first person uh, visual FPS controller. I said that really quickly. Anyway, um, if you had any problems, let me know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So let me know what we need to do next time. I have a list of things that I'm going to be going through anyway. But um, for future episodes, let me know because I'm going to record a few now. Um, and then probably some more at like the beginning of every week or at the weekends. So um, yeah, be sure to leave a comment and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.